Hey everybody, I have a great video to bring to you guys today. Like normal, sometimes I get you know caught up in an activity and I totally forget that, hey, maybe you guys out there would be interested in knowing this knowledge or maybe be interested in this idea. So I wanna talk about how you can get free eggs even if you don't have chickens. Stay tuned. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just putting together some compost for our chickens. As you guys know, it's snowing really hard outside and I have some stuff that we're gonna throw out from the holiday season. You know, we went to a few Christmas parties, we had dinner at a few places, some people came here, had dinner. And so we just have a bunch of leftovers that we're not gonna eat here, so we're gonna give to the chickens. And then, you know, we always get go bags or Tupperware from friends. So we get a lot of food this time of year, which is great. It's a blessing, especially, you know, there's a lot of people that go without food. So it's a blessing for us, but even still, sometimes we can't eat it all, which is fine because we're going to bless our animals, which are gonna to continue to bless us. So let me kind of show what we got here. So we have a three quart container and it's full. And we got a little bit of everything. We got some breadcrumbs here. We got some cilantro, some cranberry sauce, some pumpkin pie, got a little cutie there, some mushrooms. We're just gonna dig into all this right here. Some salad stuff right there. I don't know if you can see that. There's some salad stuff deep down in here. And yeah, we're not afraid to get our hands dirty. So we have a really, there's a corn on the cob here. So we have some really healthy stuff. There's a, there's a poached egg that we never, that we never ate. So we have a lot of good stuff here, high quality stuff that we're gonna give to our chickens. Now, why does this matter? Well, the science is very specific with us. It says that three-fourths cup of layer pellets or layer food or a chicken feed will produce one egg. So three-fourths cups. This is three quarts, like I said earlier, which means there are 12 cups in this in this container right here. And this isn't just low-quality pellets here, right? This isn't just grain by byproducts. This is high-quality food. So we have 12 cups of high quality food, which will give us on average 16 eggs. So this right here will produce 16 eggs for our family here on the homestead. So let's really think about this for a second. I mean, again, this is three quarts. 12 cups of food waste here can produce easily 16 eggs, but let's be conservative. This amount of food waste right here should have no problem producing one dozen, one dozen chicken eggs. One dozen eggs from this amount of waste right here. Incredible. Something else to think about, food for thought, literally. The average household wastes one pound of food a day on average. Now, I think those numbers are pretty low. If you look at, and I'm gonna put all the research in the um, comment section below, but it, all, the, all the food waste that they can measure, they have metrics for, they divide that among the population, they get an average. So obviously there's a lot of food wasted that we're not even seeing. But let's just take that step one pound per household per day. That's seven pounds a week. Depending on what you're, what, what you're measuring, if we're looking at a very conservative number, seven pounds equates to approximately 21, 22 cups of food. So 21 cups of food is enough to make 28 eggs. So on average, the average household is throwing away enough food to make 28 high quality, fresh eggs. Incredible. Now, a lot of you may be asking, what does that have to do with me? I don't have chickens. Yeah, we produce waste, but I don't have chickens. How does that help me out? Well, there's a lot of us that do have chickens. And I can tell you, I always tell my friends and family because I guess I don't care about societal norms. If they have compost that they want to throw out, if they have old food, they bring it over to the house. They do. They'll, they'll bring it in buckets like this. And in return, I give them this. They get fresh, high quality pasture raised eggs. So let's just take this, right? Your average five gallon Home Depot Lowe's hardware store bucket. We'll just compare it for comparison here. This is equivalent to 80 cups. 80 cups will make 106 high quality farm fresh eggs. And in return, I'll give you a dozen two dozen fresh eggs. I mean, it, it literally can't get any easier than that. I'm literally taking, you can literally take your waste that you're not gonna eat, that you're gonna throw away, and you can turn it into profit. Again, I'm not the only person that does this either. I love giving out fresh eggs. And you know what I love getting in return? Something that's just gonna go to the landfill anyway. 
Here's the thing, guys. I know you can hear it in my voice. Am I excited? Yeah, I'm truly excited. And the reason is, is because I'm at this point in my preparedness journey where I can literally take table scraps. I can literally take food that's going to be discarded and I can make it into high quality food. Not only can I turn it to high quality food, I'm turning it into profit. I mean, you bring me one of these, man. I, I could feed my family on, on eggs for a month. No problem. Just off one of these and it costs me nothing. Right? And if that means I give you two dozen eggs in return, cool. So it's just, it's changing your thought process from a consumer, a, a first world consumer with consumer problems to literally a producer, somebody that produces something, somebody that doesn't have to worry about stockpiling hoarding, somebody that doesn't have to worry about those pressures because you're smart, you're sustainable, you're prepared. So this is my favorite coffee cup right here. You know, my, my mother-in-law, my mom, she got it for me one Christmas. It says fresh eggs there, farm to table. And, and this, means, this means a lot to me. It really does. Because it's this constant reminder, right, of the journey that I'm on. It's a constant reminder that this is a lifestyle. It's a constant reminder that there are solutions. There was a simpler time. And that, that time is not gone. It's still here. And it, it's in me every day. And so, yes, I get passionate about this because anybody can do this. And I'm not the only person, you know. So if you do have somebody out there that has chickens... Think about that, you know, think about that. And if they haven't thought about it, maybe send, send, the, send them the link to this video. Start thinking about that. Start building resiliency in your community. We know the cost of food is going up, right? We know that this inflationary period is not transitory. So instead of being doom and gloom, buying into the fear porn of woe is me, look at all these bad things that are happening. Why don't we do something of substance, right? Why don't we do something that's actually going to be effective? Why don't we build resiliencies within our community? So if you know somebody that has chickens, hey, give them an offer. I have a Home Depot five gallon bucket that I can fill up for you. How many eggs will you give me? And if they don't know what the what a good exchange rate is, send them to this video. Maybe you guys can work something out. Hooray! Hooray! There we go, guys. Make those dozen eggs for me, brothers and sisters. And in short work, they're doing what they are created to do. Hmm. I love the sounds of the animals. I love being out here. I, I, I'm so, I'm so blessed. So I ask you guys, please go out there, build resilient communities, problem solve, make your weaknesses into your strengths. Go out there, be sustainable, and most importantly, be prepared. And as always, guys, and as always, long live the Republic.